What's up guys, Black Wolves here and welcome back to another video and today we are back for yet another monument on PCM. A bit of an odd one because, well, Paris-Roubaix will not take place for the second year in a row uh, due to the ongoing pandemic and it is an absolute disappointment, I, I can't lie. Uh, I think everyone is very sad about it, especially knowing that it's meant to be extremely raining tomorrow in France um, for Paris-Roubaix. But um, safety uh, prevails in um, the current situation. I don't really agree with um, the, the reasoning behind um, the uh, cancellation or the postponement, should I say, of Paroué, which will take place later this year, technically in October, uh, should everything um, well, work rather, rather well. Um, but yeah, I still decided to, to have Paroué this weekend on the channel. It is a staple of the cycling season. It is one of the most famous races there is on earth. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just Paris Roubaix. We've, we haven't had one for two years. Come on, like, give us my cobbles. Now, um, obviously, as there is no real race, there is no real start list. Um, but I made um, a custom one with every uh, single best cobble rider in each team. So everyone has that, their best riders. Um, I think the only one where I didn't go for the best riders is Ineos. Uh, I picked Owen Dole instead of Garen Thomas because I feel like it's more realistic. Uh, also, just before we take a look, Anthony Tiergis has 80 cobbles, which makes him, I think, the third or fourth highest rider in cobble in the game, which is absolutely incredible. However, however, the team I'm going for is going to be Bora Hansgrohe. The Bora Hansgrohe of Peter Sagan. Uh, coming back from um, his COVID-19 um, week before, uh, before Tirreno, I think. Was it, was it in Tirreno he, uh, he got COVID? I think just before that. Uh, decent play in the summer for the uh, Slovakian. Very disappointing Ronde, however, for him. And for Bora in general, um, Nils Polit also not being very present uh, on uh, the, the cobbles in, um, in Belgium. We'll see how they fare today in the Enfer du Nord, the Northern Hell, Paris-Roubaix, 261 kilometers of hell for both the riders and myself, let's fucking go. What a day, what a day, plus four for Vista Gann, plus two for Nils Polit. I'm going to be extremely honest with you, this is my second time playing it, uh, I've reverted back to extreme, I played on Unfair, and I'm not taking the piss, right, there was 43 riders left before the Trou d'Ambert, and after the Trou d'Ambert, there was 28 riders. None of these riders were in my team. Peter Sagan exploded like midway through the Trou d'Ambert. I have no, no idea how it happened. I mean, I didn't do anything dumb. I didn't do anything stupid. I just, just, no, it just didn't work. So I was like, there's, there's no way I'm just doing Paroubet for just 100 kilometers. So here I am, back in extreme difficulty. That's... That's my turf when it comes to cobbles. I mean, it's more of easy when it's cobbles for me, but I can't really play an easy, can I? That's not, that's not exactly content. Um, but I'm going to rerun through the, um, the start list. We've got Kasper Asgreen, Seneschal, and Stibar with 80 or plus in cobbles with Julien Philippe with a very, very, very decent, uh, well, very decent stats just all across the board for, uh, for the world champion. Mathieu Van Nepal is leading Alpes in Phoenix. Obviously, he's going to try to, um, to make people Forget uh, his um, absolute stinker of a performance on Ronde. I mean, I say stinker. He finished second, but he basically had to win any kind of choked. Uh, but big ups as green, by the way. Wave on out, uh, I believe 81 cobble might be a bit too harsh. Uh, too, a bit too much, sorry, for, uh, for the Belgian. I don't know. I feel like his focus on, um, on one week races and on GC probably made him a bit worse uh, in the, um, the cobble element. But I'm, I'm not a stat maker. Tom Dumoulin is there, that's my bad, <laughs> I just completely forgot he didn't exist. Uh, Jasper Stoyven leads Trek Sigafredo with Eduard Tonset Skolider, Mats Pedersen has had a stinker. We've got Van Avermaet and Nazan for Aja Dezer, we've got Dylan van Barlem with very decent stats, and mainly Thomas Peacock for um, Ineos, Thomas Peacock. Great stats, very, very, very great stats for, uh, for the, the small, um, small rate. We've got Van Marke and Hofstetter for Israel Start of Nation, Tish Benut and Kraft Andersen for TM, so the Team DSM, sorry. Anthony Turgis with 80 cobbles. I wish we could have had Paroubet because I really wanted him to do well in France. 
Alberto Vettel leads EF, Timo Lenz leads the total. Obviously, Peter Sagan and Niels Polit will lead Brandsgrohe. Another Frenchie, very much in form this, um, this year, Christophe Laporte. 79 cobble for the sprint of Kofidis. Uh, lack of teammate though for, uh, for the Frenchie. Marco Halla, following an incredible Ronde van Vlanderen. Uh, him and Gilles Antons, both like the legs, but also brain-wise, very much, uh, well, very smart from, um, from Marco Halla. He leads Baron Victorious with a 78 cobbles. Will then have Christophe and Mato Trentin leading UAE. Stefan Kung leading Group MFDG. He'll try to uh, recover from uh, the, the actual stinker that was the Ronde for him. Garcia Coutinho leads Movistar. Dimitri Clays and Victor Campenarts lead Kubeka. Marco Matthews leads Bike Exchange. Lutsenko leads Astana Van Popol, uh, and that is Danny. Wins, uh, sorry, leads Intermarché, Bacart leads BNB, Eva Dalskivicius from a top 10 finisher of, of uh, Ruben, leads Delco Marseille Provence, Ariane Levins, leads Bingo, and finally the one brother that fucked my brain, Warren Vargil leads Arkea with 75 cobbles, and he has also 75 mountain. So according to the sap makers, Warren is as good a, a, co a cobbler as he is a climber. Not convinced, not sure how it works, but you know what? I'll roll with it. I'll roll with it. Uh, I'll just slap some people in protection. There we go. Take a quick look at the breakaway. We've got Artem Zakharov, Adrian Petit, Arnaud Demar, Amaury Capio, Emme de Hent, Rob Stannard, Lukas Wisniewski, Frédéric Frison, Nelson Oliveira, Frédéric Bacart, Alex Kerch, Hugo Hull, and Vincenzo Nibalo. Nibalo? Sorry, Vincenzo Nibali. The Squallo in this uh, 13 men breakaway um, on this Enfer du Nord 2021. We've crossed the um, first few sectors, the uh, first one being Avelie, Trois Villes, then we have Avelie. Um, first few incidents, we've got a puncture here for Svenrik Bistrom, we've had a crash involving um, Edouard Prades, Ben Swift, uh, Connor Swift, sorry, and Laurent Robit. Uh, we've also got an attack, Yanni Moscon, going for, uh, for a move, the uh, Italian from Ineos, feeling confident, and I read that from him, I read that from him. Uh, I mean, as long as he's alone, he can't really push people off the bikes as well. So. I see this as an absolute win. A couple of riders have tried to go for some moves. Uh, I am one of these guys. I've used Marcus Burgart, um, who has 79 today, in cobbles. Um, as, I mean, I'm going to try and have him in the break in case something bad happens with, uh, with Nils or Pete Sagan. And by bad, I do mean by me being shit on cobbles. Hopefully, I can uh, try to reach the first group 134, though. Uh, they did drop me very early on. So now I'm waiting for this group. I'm actually really going to wait for them. There we go. Uh, and see what I can do alongside Matteo Trentin, Zorin Krafandersen, Sonny Colbrelli, Ivan Garza Cortina, and Valentin Maduas as Michael Matthews, the leader of Bike Exchange, has attacked in the peloton. All right, we're going to have a, a main peloton, and then a main chasing group, and a main breakaway. Julien is in the breakaway. Ah, fuck. Dimitri Kleis has attacked, but mainly former winner and title holder, actually. Philippe Gilbert is in the breakaway. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Interesting, interesting. We'll see what Philippe can do. Uh, does he have any teammate up front? He may do, I think. He's got, he's got John Ingroup and Frédéric Frison. Uh, so he's actually got his co-leader and main teammate. All right, all of the riders from the are able to go over the cobbles are in the breakaway now. And we're going to have the first DNF of the race. It appears that Christophe said nope to uh, completing Paroubet today. Rimers also crashed with uh, Edouard Pradesh. All right, breakaway, 2.17 in the lead, chasing group 45 seconds behind set group. Uh, Pete Segan and Nils Polit are well positioned because we're going to have the sector of Avalua Wallers. And then we're going to have the uh, almighty Troy de Rambert this time. We've got more than 40 riders in the peloton and I've got more than Pete Segan. So again, big dub, big ups, extreme difficulty. <laughs> and here we are, here we are, the almighty Troy de Rambert. We cannot afford to lose any time here because you cannot win Paris-Roubaix on the Trois de Rambert, but you can 100% lose it. Peter well positioned, Nils Polit, decent enough. All right, Schillinger, if, if Andreas could hold on and be stonks. Actually, if everyone could hold on and be stonks. So, Schachmann, accelerate, you dickhead. Good, everyone has made it. This is much easier. Puncture, puncture for Bala. Alejandro Valverde has a puncture, big ups. Well, no, Big L, actually, not Big Ups. Big L for uh, the former world champion, the veteran. Uh, clearly, he is prime here. Charmaine is going to try to get water um, because we've got an interesting sector here. All right. Marcus Burgart made the cut with the first group as well. That's absolutely perfect. Big stonks. All right. Pete Segan, full energy. Nils Polit, full energy. Burgart, 
ahead. My teammates, they're here. Water coming soon. Things are going my way in extreme. Crash for Alexander Kovey. Very, uh, very sad for the winner of uh, Milano San Remo on, um, on the teamable Banky career mode. That's not from me, that's from good old Tim Toski. No, Nero! Nero Quintana dropped. Nero Quintana will not win the 2021 Parobe. Ornan Abondini. It might not look like an important sector, but I can tell you one thing. It is. This is one hell of a sector on PCM. It's actually even tougher than the Trouet d'Arembert. There's an issue for someone from Cofidis. I'm hoping for their sake it's not Christophe Laporte. It is Jempi Drucker. It is Jempi Drucker. Very well. No one really cares about Jempi, do we? Um, Pete Segan, well positioned. Nils Polit, well positioned. All right. Oh, the rhythm is actually quite smooth here. Usually, like, even in, like, hard or medium or easy, the peloton accelerates here. Today, they didn't. Perfect. I can actually try to rest the tad with Nils Polit and Pete Segan. Schachmann is struggling a bit much. Um, the same applies for Danielos and Nils Polit. So, and Rudiger Selig, what am I on about? Crash! Fabio Hofstetter! Fabio? No, Hugo Hofstetter. LL for, um, for Richard Star Nation. They still have a Seb Van Marker, obviously. Attacks by who? Wait, wait, hold up. Gianni Vermeer has 78 cobbles? Wow! I mean, to be fair, he has been good recently. I, I can give him that. He's been very good. But 78? Madaz, I sure, why not? Why not, why not? Uh, we should be fine in this sector, right? This is, oh, this is why I've lost two Paroubet in my life, actually. I'll just make sure that I can cross these sectors without too much of an issue. But I think I should be fine. We're going to uh, rest big, uh, big Nils Polite. I'm going to get not water now. All right, stonks. Sector of Beuvry La Forêt. Sometimes we have a, a few attacks. Uh, this time we don't. Um, Gianni Vermeer, though, who was in the break, uh, who had attempted to attack, has had a puncture. So, uh, well, I mean, he's not going to do anything now, is he? Um, there's a group dropped in A1. I'm going to guess that's Vermeer, the favorite. Yep. It is indeed Marcel Seberg, Peter Legard, and Oliveira are there. Uh, Marcus Burgard still in a group ahead. Um, I mean, he's going to be able to give me uh, some help. Should I need it? I mean, no. When I will need it later on? Wait, wait, wait. Mathieu is leading? Is that Mathieu van der Poel? Leading the peloton? Okay. I mean... I mean, okay. Acceleration, acceleration, acceleration. Mathieu van der Poel, whether or not, Kasper Asgren. There's 54k left. We're starting this sector of Oshi des Orchi. And Mathieu van der Poel has attacked. Fucking hell, man. It's so early. It's so early. I mean, it's, it is what Mathieu van der Poel would do, if, I'm, if we're being realistic. But still, please fuck off. Peter, mate, I need you to get those wheels here. Okay, good. Pizza Gan and Nils Polit, still in this group. We're going to have the sector of Mont saint -Péver after that. So one needs to be very careful about everything. Uh, I'm going to... Take the lead of the peloton, take the helm for a second, recover energy. We've got 37 riders in the uh, first group here. We've also got an attack up front. That is Gianni Morscon. He's gone on his own. Okay. Here's Ethan Ata. Von Barlet and Thomas Peacock are there for um, the British outfit as well. Puncture for Seb Von Marker. Israel Startup Nation are having a stinker because Hofstetter has had a puncture earlier. Now their actual leader is having a puncture. Puncture for Philippe Gilbert as well. The title holder. Having an L or taking an L, Pete Sagan dropping a few positions here and there, but I should be able to maintain position in the first group. Wout Van Aert is here, I'm right next to Kasper Asgren, so I should not be uh, too, too far down. I'm actually in the first group, that's absolutely, per absolutely perfect, sorry. Dinnik Chibar is attacking? Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, Nazan following. Uh, Von Aert, Van der Poel, Benoit. Okay, sure, have fun. Puncture for Maxi Schachmann. I mean, he's 7 minutes down, so might as well be 8 or 10 minutes down at this point. Don't really care now, do I? Alright, 35k to go. Pete Sagan is in an ideal position right now. We do have a teammate, Nils Pelit. Um, 22 riders, potentially 24. Should Hugo Hull and Dylan Tons come back? I'm going I'm to guess Hugo Hull was in the breakaway. 
because uh, there's there's no way you go manage to um, to stay with everyone even with a plus ten. All right, uh, no attacks usually on this on this sector. Okay, I stand corrected. Attack by Jasper Steven. Peloton. Peloton. Am I going to get blocked by everyone here? I have. I am actually. Um, that's not good. That's not good. Thomas Peacock is doing the job for me here. All right. Uh, I'm gonna try and come back on this group of uh, of five riders there. Asgren, Seneschal, Van Avermaet, Van der Poel, Steuben. I mean, realistically, no. I should let Van Art. I should let Van Art work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, go on, Wout. Go on, lad. Work a bit. Steuben, Van der Poel have attacked in the group ahead. I should. I, I should have bridged the gap, didn't I? Steuben dropped. Van Avermaet, Van der Poel, Kasper Asgren. Are we gonna have a um? Well, once again, what we had on the uh, on the Ronde van Vlaanderen. It is probable. I'm gonna attack with Pete Sagan here. I'm gonna attack with Pete Sagan. Try uh, to, to, to come back here. Try to come back. It's gonna be a long solo mission for Pete Sagan. It's initial. He's not gonna help me. That's a shock. Okay. 45 seconds on the top three. Van der Poel, Van Avermaet, Asgreen. It was the podium of the Ronde van Vlaanderen. Uh, wait, was it Steven third? I don't know. Well, at least we've got the top four, that's for sure. Asgreen, Asgreen's gone. Kasper Asgreen is gone. Kasper Asgreen is going to take Ronde van Landeren and Paris Roubaix at this rate. Peter Sagan is with um with Van Parler. We're trying to hold on to um to the rhythm of the Dutchman, who's being very good today. He's actually very, very good. Um alright, we're gonna try and relay a bit more with Van Barle. Try to first come back on Van der Poel and Van Avermaet. If we can manage to make the, the comeback on these two, then potentially something can be done. I'm gonna get water, that's a very important step here. 19 seconds on Kasper Asgren. Things aren't finished for us yet. Things aren't finished for us yet. Mathieu is the one that should be chasing, realistically. All right, here goes Van Barle. Dylan has been very, very good. Dylan has been very, very good. I don't think Kasper Stoven has the legs to come back. We're gonna increase the rhythm just a tad to try and actually come back on Kasper Asgren in uh, this final sector between uh, Willem and Hem. Van Avermaet taking charge. Come on, lads. Come on, come on. 14 seconds. 14 seconds. Mat oh, Mathieu. Mathieu is not looking good. Mathieu is not looking good here. Uh, Nils, I, I don't care about Nils Pellit at this point. Anyone gonna relay me? Or not? Mm, I don't think so. Are we coming back on Kaspar Asgren? I think we are. We are. Oh, Van der Poel, Van der Maat. Van der Poel, Van der Maat cannot take anymore. It's gonna be Peter Sagan, Van Barle, or Kasper Asgreen to win Paris Roubaix. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Alright, come on. I'm the fastest sprinter, but I have no energy whatsoever. I'll take the wheel of Kasper Asgreen. I'm gonna take the wheel of Kasper Asgreen. Can the two vans make a late comeback? They obviously are gonna try to do so. Van Barle asking Asgreen to take a relay. Van Avermaet starting his efforts. That's not what I wanted to do. Hold up. Can I not like have an, uh, like a different camera here? Is this the furthest I can go? Okay, well, the furthest I can go is there. Very sorry about that. Peter Sagan, Van Avermaet, Van Der Poel, Asgreen, Van Barle. 1.4k, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. Peter Sagan. Peter Sagan. Peter Sagan against Mathieu Van Der Poel, Kasper Asgreen with the lead. Come back. Peter Sagan is unrivaled. Unmatched, Peter Sagan wins the 2021 Parouwe ahead of Kasper Asgreen and Dylan Van Barla. What a race. Mathieu Van Der Poel in fourth. Van Avermaet, Van Aert, Florian Seneschal, Jasper Stoven, Laporte and Anthony Turgis to wrap up the top 10. Three Belgians and three Frenchies. None of them on the top four though. What a race that was. Marco Halla in 11th place for Baron Victorious and Oliver Nazen in 13th. Nils Polit in 14th place. But Peter Sagan has won Paris-Roubaix for the second time in his career after 2018 and his win over Sylvain Dillier. Was it 26? No, it wasn't 2018, right? I can't remember. But what a dub. What a dub by Peter Sagan today. Let's go. I can't remember the last time I've actually won this race. <laughs> no, sure. Obviously, I tried to do an unfair. I couldn't. But it's still extreme difficulty, which usually I'd never win in extreme. I'd never even win in, like, hard. But... 
I, I need to to say thank you to to Dylan Van Barle. He's he's been the beast. He's been an absolute beast. Big ups, big ups, Dylan Van Barle. Well, Pete Sagan is gonna have regrets because no paro this year means he can't win it. Uh, Kasper Asgren, very strong the entire day, uh, and maybe maybe overconfident, which is I think something we've seen quite a lot this year with Mathieu van der Poel and with Van Aert, mainly Mathieu in my opinion. Uh, Mathieu who comes home in fourth place, Greg van der Aert in fifth. Um, he didn't really do much, but he, he's there. So you have to say congratulations to the Olympic champion. And then a minute behind Wout van Aert, Seneschal, Steven, Laporte, Urgis, Halas, Chibar, and uh, that's it for this group. Probably could have seen at least one Frenchie in the first group. Seneschal was with Asgreen, to be fair. I think Turgis had the legs to follow me, uh, but he got slightly blocked. And then, yeah, more, more riders down the, down the trenches. We've got Yanni Moscon in 20th, Thomas Peacock in 21st, Heinrich Hausler, the king, in 24th. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, but I do hope you have enjoyed this video. I do hope uh, it kind of made up for the lack of Paroba in real life. Obviously, I know it's not the same, uh, but I still hope it was somewhat entertaining and somewhat um, reminiscing of um, well, what we could have seen on, uh, on our TVs. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel and want to see more of my content, I upload PCM. And now I'm going to do some reaction videos. Uh, because you guys have seemed to really enjoy the um, the first one I did. So then do please subscribe to the channel. There's like 70% of you that aren't subscribed to the channel. And uh, I mean, I'm still trying to get 2,000. Um, so yeah, any uh, any subscription would be genuinely, genuinely fantastic. But I will see you in the very near future. My name is Guillaume. I have been back all. It is an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great one. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. But them other man need feeding. I don't wanna go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bag. Snapping with the phone and dab. Boss up a man with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip blockbuster.